Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fella One Boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's good? We back once again. The good Fella Sports TV. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. And Keith Thurman says if he were to fight a champion this year to be the WBC, he didn't name Sean Porter by name, but he said that's the championship he wants. And let's talk about it. We back once again. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Don't forget about our sponsor, the Health Blaze at thehealthblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing get you eighteen percent off over there. All natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, toothpaste, deodorant, all natural products. Go check when they got plenty more than that. Go check them out. Website, promo code, in description. Y'all know what it is, man. But what up, though? We back once again doubling up. We about to triple up with another video behind another video behind another video. Just talking shit, man. But y'all know how we rocking. But, yeah, man. Let's talk about Keith Thurman quote, man. I guess he said at the final press conference, boxing scene turned into an article. So let's get right into it. Let's get, get, get it, okay? Um, you know, we do the quotes. And uh, the first quote he did, it didn't matter. Um, he said, if we, uh, if we fight a champion, we're only fighting the WBC because champion is me, Thurman said. And he basically mean he the champion of recess. Um, you know, he, he gets a title shot before anybody else when he's ready. I was a champion. I want to reunify my titles before going after the champions that I've never faced before. And this reason is because I was a unified champion of the world. And when Keith Thurman steps in the ring and faces one of those fighters, there will be my two titles on the line plus their one title. Once you get a taste of a certain status, you kind of get used to it. I want to get that status back before going above and beyond. Okay. You know, for one, I don't have a problem with it, bro. If he fights Sean Porter this year, that's progression. That means next year, that means he don't need no more tune-ups. He can hop into an Earl fight or he can hop into a Terrence fight. That pushes my timeline up. So I have no problem if he fights. Sean Porter this year, but I think it's really contingent on how he does tomorrow versus Ethan Lopez. Um, make sure you check out our final thoughts video on that situation. But um, to kind of give you a glimpse, Keith Thurman looked soft. Keith Thurman looked like he had a hard time dropping weight. Keith Thurman got a lot of water weight and less muscle on his body since he fought last in 2017. You could do the Danny Garcia weigh-in compared to the way he did today and look at the pictures. And you can't t you tell you could tell me I'm lying, but I'm not. That's actual facts. He looks softer, and his. I think he may need three or four tune-up fights this year just to get back in the rhythm and snap his body back. But his body may be too far regone to regain that muscle, that muscle memory, or that just that muscle and that strength he once had. He may have burnt all his muscle while in camp trying to make weight, and now that's why he actually does need a tune-up. He doesn't deserve to have a tune-up, but that's why he has a tune-up. But if it goes well tomorrow, he feel good, and he can jump into a Sean Porter fight. Um you know, in the summertime or in the fall or the winter, uh, I'm cool with it because that puts the timeline there. And next March or April, you can fight Errol Spence. But it'll be an excuse. He get those two titles to run off again and say, I injured my hand, I injured my shoulder. But I think his injuries was just based on cutting the weight. They said Keith Thurman, when he was going on vacation, was got up to 200 pounds. He took his he took off two years for his profession. Two years. Two years he took off. So, I mean, what are we talking about? He took off two years. You know what I'm saying? So are we expecting him to be the same fighter? Yeah, he's 30 years old, but he ain't no spring chicken. He got under 30 fights, so he don't have that many miles on his body, but his body breaking down regardless. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know, if he want to fight Sean Porter and fight for the WBC, and maybe he's saying WBC because he don't know if Yugis or Sean Porter going to win. But I'm pretty sure Sean Porter is going to watch Yugis, okay? But then again, I take it, man. But at the end of the day, you know, if you're feeling froggy, you're feeling good, don't give us the, don't give it don't feed us the bullshit, man, and say, oh, I'm gonna fight for WC because that was my title first. No, just give us the give us the give us it straight. Like I wanna fight Sean Porter because he had an easier fight. Like Earl Spence said, it's an easy fight. Come and say that's the easiest of the champions. I want to get back in rhythm, and that's what we'll do to get back in rhythm and I'll get my title back in the process. Don't sell us a whole bunch of malarkey and say that, oh, that's the belt, because that's the belt I want. No, man. At the end of the day, all the belts are the same, okay? Now, each title, each title you need, if your old goal is to be the undisputed champion, each title is important, you know. Don't you want to fight Errol Spence? That, that's the hardest fight. Or the Terrence Crawford? You talking about he the easiest fight. You know, but at the same time, I'm not mad at him. You know, Stephen Bredman said something interesting on Twitter, J-Lock trainer. He said, and he, it was true, he don't never speak up Errol Spence, bro. But he says that um, 
Ever since Earl Spence got the IBF title, everybody act like they're allergic to the IBF. I'm paraphrasing here. And that's right. You know? But at the same time, Keith Thurman, it holds weight. Keith Thurman wasn't trying to get the IBF title when Kell Brook had it. When he ran over there and fought, you know, Sean Porter still. But he wasn't trying to fight Kell Brook. You know, Keith Thurman is living off fight Sean Porter and living off fight Danny Garcia. That ain't that don't hold enough weight for you to be a legend like Pacquiao Mayweather and do what you want to do in boss move. Basically, he want to get to those two titles and call himself the A-side versus Earl and Terrence. But, I mean, Terrence is going on his second pay-per-view fight. Earl could be going on his second pay-per-view fight by fight you. Titles don't make you the A-side. You still getting the B-side percentage, regardless. If Earl fight Mikey and then fight Pacquiao on pay-per-view, like, dude, it's, you can have three titles. He bringing more viewership. He bringing more clout to the table. The titles don't make you an A or B-side. Ask Mayweather that. Ask a Canelo that. You know, your notoriety, your pool, your audience, and Keith Thurman ain't got no fan base. Keith Thurman got some hardcore fan, fans out there that like him because they hate Errol Spence. That's what it is. Oh, all right, Keith Thurman, they still believe that Keith Thurman can beat Errol Spence. They still believe he the best hope and one of the better hosts to beat Errol Spence. That's what it's about. Most Keith Thurman fans that's hanging on and that's, that's straggling on and hanging on by a shoestring, are hanging on because they hate Errol Spence. They don't want to convert to Errol Spenceism or Budism, you know. But if they had to, they'd probably go with Bud, no matter how much shit they talked about Bud or how much shit they talked about Bob here. Okay, nobody Sean, Booster Sean Porter don't have no fans, so ain't nobody a Sean Porter fan. His family members probably Errol Spence and, and Terrence Crawford and Keith Thurman fans before they Sean Porter fans. Okay, so you know we talking about him speeding the timeline up and talking about two tune ups. So it sounds like. It sounds like Al Heyman might say, look here, man, you ain't afforded another tune-up. You better fight Sean Porter or not. He fights Sean Porter, he get my he get a little bit of respect back. Just a little bit. But he don't get his respect back or his manhood back until he go see Errol Spence and, and, and or Bud Crawford. Or Terrence Bud Crawford, that is. He don't get his full respect back. Because Terrence Crawford was disrespecting him. He told Errol Spence, he said, I ain't scared. This ain't no Keith Thurman shit over here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody disrespecting Keith Thurman. Except for his little fanboys he got left that just hate Earl. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't, ain't no fan. Out. It, it's very minimal fans that like Keith Thurman for Keith Thurman. It's it. Very minimal fans that's, that can tell you, and they live by a moral code, they still can fuck with Keith Thurman. As everybody know, deep down inside, Keith Thurman is it, 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 a bitch. Everybody know it. If they want to admit it or don't admit it. We all know it. We all know the injuries wasn't that bad. Because he said on the Brandon Shaw podcast, and I was screen recording and put it on some of my social media. They're all in the description, Facebook and Twitter. He said, oh, my shoulder was injured. Like, nigga, what was your elbow in your hand? He lying, bro. And everybody know it. When they was talking Pacquiao, his face lit up. All of a sudden, Pacquiao wasn't possible. He took two years off. So come on, man. The proof's in the pudding. We not reaching. Everything you get, you pretty much, you get, you put, you get in this universe that's the energy that you send off and you receive back. So if you're going to be a hoe or be a pussy, you're going to get that energy back. People going to call you what you put out. He can say he don't listen to the fans or he don't care what the fans say. And that's why he ain't got no fan base. That's why he got the Earl Spence hate coat that barely hanging on. They ready to jump shit to Bud Crawford. You know what I'm saying? He barely got fans hanging on. Ain't nobody fuck with Keith Thurman right like that. Because if he did, you know, the Barclay Center would be sold out. He can go to Tampa or down there in Florida and sell out. He can't. Why do you don't fight at home? He can't sell out. He not a pool in Florida. Say what you want to say. They not rocking with him down there. They will walk with Lara, a Gamboa, or Ortiz before they walk with Keith Thurman, and that's that's facts. But I, I mean, long, he beat the hell out of Sean Port. I don't care. As long as K did, he cry. And they gonna run around and move up. We don't care. After Sean lose that title, Sean is a non-factor, bro. He can stay in that studio and, and work on his hands and knees, bro. I, I wouldn't give a fuck. He he only being mentioned because he holding a title that he don't deserve. But y'all know what it is, man. Goodfellas Sports TV, we in the building. Don't forget we on Facebook, we on Twitter. Also, I can reach out to the email. If you got any video requests, remember we doing a Q&A mailbag video tomorrow. All video requests you can send to my email in the description. I answer each question in the video format tomorrow morning or in the afternoon. Um, go ahead and ask them anything after Friday. 
or after tomorrow. I say after tomorrow morning. I extend it. It goes on the next week. But don't forget the uh, Hellblaze at the Hellblaze.com promo code Goodfellow One Box to get your all natural products over there. Go check them out. Lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. The website in the uh, promo code is in the description. If you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's always in the description. You can do me one better. Share, share the videos. Appreciate all the brothers and sisters holding us down. Like, whoa. <laughs> but y'all know what it is, man. Goodfellow Sports TV. We gone.